Senator Lombardi. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, first of all, I want to I want to thank everyone for uh, for uh, coming forth on what is uh, an inherently uh, local and emotional issue. Um, and as I stated before, and I'll say it again, I'll say it again. Uh, kudos to Senator Fogarty for the concerns that he showed for his constituency in the town of Burrowville, and and having the uh, intestinal fortitude to bring forth. Uh, the bill on behalf of his uh, constituents, uh, and, and I mean this, Senator, uh, I think that um, the people of the town of Burrowville are very fortunate to have you as their senator and the work that you do for them. Um, you, quite frankly, you listen to them and, and you put forth what you thought to be uh, a very favorable bill for your citizenry. Um, that being said, um, I did say at the meeting that I was very, very concerned about uh, the, the local nature of this bill and vis-a-vis -vis our role in dealing with local issues. Uh, there was, uh, as the chairman said, there was uh, some pretty significant discussions about the information we received from the town of Boroughville vis-a-vis a, um, a notice and vis-a-vis -vis, uh, what the Boroughville Town Council did or didn't do. Uh, but there was certainly a representation made, albeit an unsigned document and an undated document, uh, that seemed to indicate that the town council of the town of Burrowville was opposing both House Bill 8240A and Senate Bill 3037. Um, subsequent to that, we did receive, and for the folks from Burrowville, we did receive a signed copy of a resolution that was entered into on June 8th uh, 2016, signed by the uh, president of the Burrowville Town Council, which uh, sets forth many whereases and ultimately indicating that the town uh, council request uh, that um, uh, we oppose, and the word they use, strongly oppose the passage of House Bill 8240A and uh, Senate Bill 3037, and in fact goes further to say that if we did uh, adopt it, they would request that Governor Raimondo veto the action, and, and I suspect that that may still be within the realm of possibilities if this were to pass. But So that's, that's uh, I, I'm really concerned about that, and I also am very, very concerned of the, of the precedent that we would be setting here if we delve into what is essentially an appellate body of local municipal actions. Um, town Council, good, bad, or indifferent in Burrowville, chose to entertain this project. It chose to enter into tax treaty discussions, and uh, it chose to communicate to us its inclination to support this uh, for the betterment of the town, at least as they depict it. And I, I fear that if we were to act um, contrary to their wishes and allow for a referenda to take place on this particular issue, I think that we would be flooded with every local issue that is, quote, controversial, end quote, uh, that uh, we would then be asked to legislate it out of the local community. And, and that's something, unfortunately, uh, I'm not willing to do um, as a lawyer and as a legislator. Uh, lastly, uh, one of our colleagues was gracious enough to provide us with a Rhode Island Supreme Court case entitled Warwick Mall Trust versus the state of Rhode Island, where this very issue came up before our Rhode Island Supreme Court, uh, specifically uh, asking the constitutionality of legislation uh, to allow for a referendum uh, when dealing, in this case, with a long-term tax exemption. But the court, for all intents and purposes, also referred to it as tax treaties. And uh, in discussing our inherent power to allow for municipal governments to tax or not to tax, um, the Supreme Court went to great lengths to indicate uh, that to allow something to become effective only upon the approval of the majority of the qualified electors of a state, of a city or town voting at a general or special election would essentially oust the General Assembly of its democratic responsibility 
under the um, the Constitution, specifically uh, Article 13, Section 5. Uh, what the Supreme Court said, that if we were allowed to do what's being asked of us here, would be uh, tantamount to making the legislature powerless to pass any laws without first obtaining uh, approval by the local uh, uh, electorate. And it would create, in the language that they use, such a prescription for local tax would gridlock would be at odds with uh, Article 13, Section 5. And um, basically, the Supreme Court found that, uh, that quite contrary to the request being made here, uh, that an approval by an electorate of a decision regarding taxes um, uh, violates the Constitution of the state of Rhode Island. And so while I certainly empathize with the citizens of Boroughville, I, I don't demean in any way their concerns about safety, their concerns about, you know, uh, whatever the ramifications may be, good, bad, or indifferent, about a power plant in Burrillville, the fact of the matter is what we do today won't have any effect on whether a power plant goes to Burrillville or not. It only allows the voters to put forth a referendum to vote on a tax treaty, which our Supreme Court has said is, is unconstitutional. And for those reasons, uh, I will be voting no um, on the issue.